Hi guys, happy Monday. Welcome back. Um, if you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe bell on the all side so you'll get all notifications and be sure to hit the like button. So last night was episode 36. We only have one episode remaining. I mean, I think so. I'm almost positive. <laughs> They've really been all over the place between Survivor and the Emmys and football. Um, but anyway, so they open the episode and Julie explains, and it was the first part of the final HOH. There's three steps. Julie explains that we're going to listen to Xavier, Aza, and Derek F. explain their path to the final three. Um, <laughs> this was lengthy, <laughs> and so was that, that um, HOH competition. But I mean, I guess there's not really much left going on in the house. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna complain that someone needs to like shorten the season, whatever, but it, it's a little redundant at this point, but it is what it is. So first we have Xavier explaining his path to um, the final three, and he describes the sequence of events as far as his alliances. He started with the slaughterhouse, then he moved to, onto the royal flesh, and then the cookout, um, although the cookout was a thing, I wanna say it was day 16 when it was solidified. So that, I don't know, that's somewhat out of order, but um, he also discusses losing Alyssa um, and that he facilitated both Tiffany and Hannah's evictions. Um, then we get to Oz's path. Her strategy was to play under the radar um, because once she arrived, she realized after she'd been in there for a few days um, that the physical comps weren't for her. Um, I think that, I, I'm sorry, I think Aza is a lovely person. <laughs> I just do. I think that she just got overwhelmed. I think that she bit off more than she could chew. She. It was way more than she expected. Um, I don't, I was watching this with my boyfriend last night and he just kind of, Aza is explaining her strategy and he's like, oh, Aza. I'm like, no, you know what? I don't think Aza's social game was bad. I really don't. I know a lot of people disagree with that. Um, I really don't think so. I mean, was she assertive enough, like as far as the manipulating and the strategizing? No, but the girl has a huge heart, and um, it's it would it, it would be a lot for a lot of people. Most people, I don't know. For me, it would be. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to point that out. I think that she's great. Um, so she was going under the radar, um, then she joined the cookout, and then she um, realized she had to build relationships with people um, so that she would have an in. I mean, th th that's the whole, you know, that is what it is. <laughs> so um, then we get to Derek F's path. Um, he relied on his social game. He thinks that his social game ooh, was one of the best ever in um, BB history. Okay. Um, he surrounded himself with allies to get him through. And then we went through his final twos, which were Frenchie, Xavier, and Kyland. Um, he formed the cookout. Are we wearing a Tiffany? <laughs> um, and he did, he had a hand in the cookout, but he did not form and execute the cookout. That is, that is not true. Um, and I really enjoyed Derek F too. Like he's, 
he's very entertaining, but he's also not, um, he, it's the opposite spectrum of Aza. <laughs> Um, he gets catty, um, and that was a problem, but I enjoy Derek F. I mean, I would, I don't think I would want to play Big Brother with him, but I'd go out and have a glass of wine with him. Um, okay, so now we have part one of the HOH, and it is titled BB Bouncy Boat Bat. And basically, this is the first part of the HOH where um, the house guests hold on to an object and there's water and um, wind and um, flying dollar store sea creature figurines. Um, <laughs> they first, first it was <laughs> starfish and then it was like some blow up sharks. Um, so obviously the the last person standing um, wins the the HOH. Um, Aza looked solid. She she looked like she was doing really well, and she has those little skinny arms and legs, and she was clamped on, and she's teeny tiny. And I would think that that's built for somebody. Does anybody know why they didn't have the um, slip and slide this season? I was really looking forward to that. Um, so Derek F is shaky, but, um, he was holding on and he held on. They didn't give the fine. Maybe they did. And I missed it, but his Derek F's time was 19 minutes. Um, we have Xavier in the diary room saying that he has to outlast as a, as a, as a for fear of getting evicted. And then as a false, <laughs> The editing um, and Xavier wins and later on we see Xavier and Derek F like secretly fist pumping while Aza was in the kitchen or something um, and then we see Aza get a pep talk from Derek F and that was pretty much it I'm so sorry that this is so short um, I mean the feeds are really a whole lot of nothing at this point it's like this every year. Um, but the season finale is Wednesday at 9 p.m. I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be two hours and we will get to see Frenchie and Whitney and Brent and all that good stuff. And um, don't forget, if you wanna vote for America's Player, I think you can go to cbs.com. Um, and that's all I have. Um, but thank you so much for being here. I love you all so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.